as part of this course, you're, you need to produce a work-based project. And so you're three district nurses, mm -hmm. and you've come together to work together, which is brilliant in itself. Because did you know each other before you started the course? Um, I briefly knew Kat. But we work in the same place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but, so, yeah. so that's great for that, isn't it? Yeah. Else, isn't yeah. It? Um, so can you tell, tell me a bit about your work based project? So I think we, so the three of us are community nurses working in diff completely different areas um, and I think we all came into this job newly qualified mm -hmm. and having, uh, if I'm right, quite little experience with end of life and palliative yeah. patients and we all felt like, almost like we were given visits and we wasn't sure what services were available and what we needed to do really to, to give the po best possible care to patients. Yeah. Yeah. So we decided between us to create a leaflet or a piece of information for nurses right. and community nurses and it probably could be used for hospital nurses mm -hmm. and just outlining services that are available to um, patients that are palliative or end of life. I think like you said you have met people from Northampton General, Kesham General, because people don't just die in the hospice, do they? Mm. And palliative care is about all of those other people that mm. don't come to the hospice. So our job is to try and upskill people so that you can all offer the best possible care. It doesn't matter where someone's mm. dying Absolutely. or what they're dying of, they still should have that high standard of care. So mm. it yeah. sounds brilliant, you leave that. How are you getting on with it? Getting we've on got, yeah. We've got I think we've got all the information, yeah. but we okay. have discussed that we'll, we'll make it in a format that is easy for people to carry around with them. So yeah. if they're out with a patient, they can say, oh, I've got, I've got my yeah. leaflet mm -hmm. to help, or even just a laminated page. So mm -hmm. we think at the minute in the process of discussing how we're going to format it. Yeah, so we yeah. actually narrowed it down because mm -hmm. we, didn't, we weren't sure whether we want to do a leaflet for the patients and the families or for us professionals. Mm -hmm. And we actually decided that we'll do it for us professionals because... Yeah. I think, you know, us mm. professionals will need to know it first before yeah. the family anyway. Yeah. It would be nice to think that if we could create something that could be used by, I mean it could be rolled out to the whole county, that yeah. maybe if this course was offered to an, another group of mm. people they could maybe follow the project Absolutely. on and then yeah. go into creating one for yeah. patients and families. Yeah. I personally think that every newly qualified nurse should do this course. Definitely. if yeah. they. Yeah will be looking after end of life and palliative yeah. patients mm -hmm. definitely because since I know it's been it's only first session that we're doing today yeah. but it helped me out a lot in every aspect of palliative care yeah. and it made me realise of things that I actually don't know okay. and you know it's just I think it's a brilliant course. Yeah. And the course isn't offered, there, there aren't other courses that you can do with the same content mm -hmm. that this course offers. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it's been nice as well to meet people that are newly qualified, mm -hmm. because in my area it was just me, okay. so it's been great to meet other mm -hmm. community nurses and, and staff in Ketrin and North, Northampton mm -hmm. and get their opinions on, mm -hmm. on care, mm -hmm. because often patients are, are discharged from hospital to our service and you don't see it from their point of view, yeah. so it's yeah. helped me in a lot of ways. So, yeah, so we discovered the difference in palliative care within different services as well. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. and I think the hospital nurses have also listened to us discussing services. Mm -hmm. So, hopefully, now when patients are discharged, um, yeah. and I think as a few colleagues were saying earlier, they've educated their, their wards. Yeah. So, hopefully, mm -hmm. when they are discharged, then to community services those referrals were already underway really. Yeah, because from what I, what I can remember is they didn't realise how many services we actually have Definitely. available. I remember, yeah. Yeah. it was a brilliant piece of yeah. learning, yeah. you guys teaching the <laughs> hospital staff, the hospital staff teaching you, yeah. it was yeah. brilliant. And they actually thought that we only have prime care and that's yeah. it, yeah. You know? and they actually realised we've got oh, we've got this and that yeah. and this, and they're yeah. like, oh my god, you've yeah. got so many services yeah. available. Which yeah. I suppose if they're discharging someone home, they've now got confidence that actually someone could go home to mm, die yeah. because there are yeah. all those services and it doesn't just have to be that they have to stay at hospital yeah, because they're the only people that can do it. Because it's probably quite scary for them to discharge a yeah. poorly patient because they are very poorly yeah. and think that they haven't got the right input but now they know that actually mm. there's so many services that can support them at home that actually mm. that is something that it, it can be offered. Yeah. The, I think last session we went through the advanced care planning yeah. and that was brilliant as well because obviously you actually told us what it's all about, how we can use it and 
without that session, we probably wouldn't mm. know. No. Because, you know, mm. it's not something that it's spoken about a lot. Mm. Um, so that was really, really useful as well. I feel like Sage and Time and Advanced Care Plan and, and all these things have, have helped me a lot in the house. And yeah. I've had quite a few patients say, you know, their families don't want to talk about plans for the future. So they've got this booklet and they've said, right, it's in the booklet, it's there if, if you need it. And to, just to know that you've made a difference and to that patient yeah. um, is all been due to this course, really. Mm -hmm.